So is it a saddle pad? Is it a flag? Is it a long arm? You know, an extension of my arm? Yes, <laughs> it's all the above. Let's see if we can move over off of that. Good. Bringing my life up, I'm pressing in. Uh, bringing my frontal, frontal plane, sometimes I'll say headlight, front side of me towards him. You didn't see it, but when I relax my posture, he should halt. We'll step him over. Oh, we're going to have some fun with this horse. So you can use your saddle pad like the flag. Oh, I missed that hind leg. Don't know if you could see it, but I missed his hind leg when I went off to cut an angle to arc around. There's his, his right hind came through. Notice I'm stepping under. Take that shoulder over. Now I'll step off. I want to see that. Oh, he stepped behind with the left hand, but I'd like forward. So I've got to help. That's my fault. I have to help him get forward, tip forward a bit. We'll repeat that. I rub. I walk past the rear like I do with the flag. We'll cross that, that left hind leg under. That's interesting. That tends to be the hind leg that I get at least that he gets when he's with me that he gets stuck with, if that makes sense. It's probably a human problem. Who knows? Who knows? A little tail swish, but a lick and chew at the same time. So that's, that's good. Front end's going to come through. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that's about when I'd stick that pad as he's making a change. Stick that pad on him. That's awesome. Now he wants to, he's used to the human leading at his side. I want to teach him that I can get out in front. All right. Now, if you don't want to use the sat, uh, throw the saddle up to experiment, like if you want to work with him on accepting or just sort of tolerating this, we can reach up with the girth. And that's looking pretty nice. And then the saddle. Uh, I'm going to make sure I can tip him to me. I know I sort of flopped this out on purpose. He's in training, you guys. It's not going to hurt him. But it's just like sometimes you mount and your foot hits him accidentally. It's not supposed to happen, but it just does. So it's okay. He's going to need to move in a second. I know, the, yeah, I was just going to say those hind legs are going to get, come up. Drop that girth, let that girth hit him in the leg. Start again. All right. His head's to the outside. Maybe I need somebody to hold him for me. <laughs> right? Then while I'm cinching him up or girthing him up, he can be biting at that person and kind of like farrier visits for some people. Okay. Looking to the outside. It's, it's, it's pretty much like guaranteed almost with him. I need to help support that idea of looking towards me. There's a little change there with him bl blowing some air out. He's trying to let down. I'll rub, make sure, uh, rub the belly, the, the girth area, make sure he comes to me. Then reach with the girts. Is he girt? Reach up. Not going to come towards me. <laughs> I had to talk about him biting at handlers. You know, not that, that, not that I've seen him do it, just as a joke. And look it. I'm going to be the <laughs> handler that gets nipped at, possibly. Notice the hind legs. It's the way he expresses himself. It's a little young behavior, isn't it? It's a little bit of a... Almost like a horse that's not had a saddle on. You know, and here's something for you to think about. Maybe maybe he was never in the frame of mind to, that he was really listening that well on the track to his handler. So let's just say his groom or whatnot is saddling him and he's high-headed. He's looking away. They put the saddle on. It's like he's not paying attention. So maybe his ability to feel for the person, he just hasn't learned that yet. Carrying the saddle right now with the girth snug, he looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. A little licking and chewing. Oh, is that nice to have this. Must be because I worked him so hard, right? If, if I had it my way, 
with the exception of cantering on both sides of the ring, which I cantered on that side. I cantered on this side too, actually, now that I think about it. And with the exception of asking him for a canter and an occasional trot, I'm just going to make sure he moves over. Um, it'd be fine if you'd have walked the whole time, you know? Uh, I didn't mention I dropped those irons. That that can bother a racehorse, a track horse. I had one, nice. I had one recently that I finished with um, another refined, sort of refined head, lively racehorse. And, and uh, those stirrups coming down, that, was, that bugged him a little bit because maybe in jockey land, maybe the stirrups aren't down there. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know much about racing. I just know about thoroughbreds. Step to the side, lift up. When I lift up, I convey a sense of movement. It's like using the rein. I want the halter to, uh, my halter rope here on the ground to simulate what will happen riding under saddle. I'm even using the coils near the saddle. This is looking just fine. He's starting to get to the point where he wants to stop. He's settled in. So he, I have an idea, as he, as he has the same idea I do. Uh, here's a mounting block. He goes, oh, no. You mean, you mean you're going to get up there and maybe even get on? Now, all plans are subject to change. And although I don't want to step down off the block, certainly I, I, w I will. But the benefit to having a longer rope or lunge line, oh, it's nice, almost. But the benefit to having that longer rope is that I don't have to step down. Right there, he wants to stop. Now, now interestingly enough, he's giving me the side. He probably understands. He's like, yeah, people don't mount as much on that side. All right. The attention is uh, gone, but the body is coming through, and oh, that's nice. I'm rubbing his rump as he comes past, always able to bend his nose to me. That hindquarters is working great. Now, I'm not talking about my movements. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? It's like, hey, hey, buddy, what if I... You can't, what happens if I, oh, <laughs> I put blinders on you. <laughs> Will he feel for me then? Look at those ears, though. So, no, I, I do like you, but how about if you give me the saddle? Now, I'm not forcing it, you guys. I'm not forcing it. That'll work. That'll work. Ah, he says, oh, you're not so bad. You're not so bad. Looking and chewing. Oh, it's getting good. It's getting good. Oh, where are you going there, buddy? Don't come through me. There it is. Go there. Give me some space. You don't look very comfortable with your left foreleg up forward. Let's, let's back up a step. That was a lot of work. Let's try that again with a little direct feel good. Good. I like these kinds of horses, though. These you get, you get the mind. He's got, a, he's got a nice, you know, nice rounded sort of horse angles. He's, you know, good, kind of put together fine and and so nice. And but the mind, you get the mind. The body will follow that. I don't need to work them hard. I need to work the brain, help them move over a little bit. Good. Now, if he were my horse, and I'm not saying to go do this because it's good. It's not for you all to do. But he's at a state where now he's so relaxed, he almost would think about rolling. Now, I'm going to be out of frame for just a bit. I'll be back, but so let's talk about that. If he rolls, if he rolls, uh, 
it's it's one thing if you set it up and you ask for it and you direct his attention down and you want it to happen. But some people are so oblivious to what's taking place that for them to let their horse roll, horse will do it when they're not wanting them to do it. And the other thing that I notice, the other thing that I notice is that uh, people like in the wintertime, let's say, the, the horse is stalled up and they go, I'm going to put him in the arena and let him roll because it's awesome to watch him roll and look at the horse, how he kicks his feet up and he gets up and he runs and everybody thinks that's really great. Horses like it. But what are you teaching your horse to do? Come to the arena and it's the roll box, it's the sandbox you go rolling. I think that um, it's just like feeding your horse, hand feeding your horse or, or, or whatnot, giving treats. It's not for everybody. In fact, it's probably not good for many. But at a point, it might work. Just switching ropes to a shorter rope. You'll see why. I really like where he's at right now. Uh, mentally, that is. Pretty happy with it. With where he's at. Pretty happy with this guy. Oh, look at that. He's, I grab that rope off the ground and he sees it. It's like a snake. I'm going to throw it. All right trying to mesh together, get that horse with me. It's looking really good. It's looking really good. Look at that. It's a real horse here. And he wants to know, he, he wants to know what to do. Uh, or he wants to do the right thing for the most part. There's a strong sense of self-preservation, so he looks for his buddies. And if he doesn't see the human as a uh, helpful or if he doesn't see the human as a, a benefit, he's going to look away. Someone's going to run the show. It's either going to be you or it's going to be your, your horse because Mother Nature says, hey man, there's some stuff out, there's some, there's some stuff going on. You, you do something and they look to us and we say, we say, it's okay come to me or let's go right past that scary judge's stand. Let's go right past that weird rock on the trail. Look to me. All right. And do you think riding him around in a bunch of circles and spurring the heck out of him, is he going to look to you? And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that anybody did that to this horse at all. This horse has got, you know, the, the new owner he has is doing a good job. And I'm talking about horses in general and the way people ride circles and things. So here we are. Little swishy, but pretty, pretty happy with him. I'll help him, help him stay put. I feel that the back tension. I'll direct a little bit, let him go. I hope that I don't get too far out of frame or too far back in the arena. We're going to explore the world here. Let's see if I can just put my hand down on his neck. You can still see me, but just in a second here, I might be, we might be out. He's looking around, but in a good way. I feel like he's pretty mindful of me here. Do I always ride horses and rope halters? No, I don't. But a horse like this, he uh, learned to push through his body lengthwise, push through his body and go forward and brace against that snaffle. So I don't necessarily right now want that nutcracker snaffle action, pallet jamming bar pinching action because I just spent some time on the ground with them. So why not keep that feel the same? Oh, I think he's the kind of horse that when I get, he says, I don't, I don't know what you want. So he's, and it's okay because he's moving the hindquarters. I'm out of frame here, maybe. He's backing up. I'll take that haunch. We're going to take that haunch over. We're going to say, get forward, and he's going to find it. There it is. This is where he sucks back a little bit. Forward motion back to the circle. Looking his lips, but, st but still tight. I can feel him in the back. 
It's like a trembling. Now, he's not like terribly nervous. He's just braced up. And you feel that, and it feels like they want to either scoot out from underneath you, or there he is. I'm going to get his head to come around. Slowly, that hindquarters is going to step over. Nope. You're going to take that head around and that hindquarters over. He says, I'm going to pull on you. We're going to find it. We're going to go forward. You're going to, you're going to learn to go forward above all. It's the easier option right now. Eventually, he's going to like it. Right now, he's going forward because, slightly because of nervousness. We don't want that, but I'll take forward, however I get it. And it's better than rearing. But the other thing is, let's take that hindquarters. There it is, and go forward. Now, I asked a lot of them to bend his head around. He started to sort of lean back, suck back a little bit with his body. So then I changed my plan. I said, take your head around, move the haunch, go forward. I did change my plan. Pretty soon we're going to get a nice, get him to understand I'm not so bad. Like, look, when I reach back and touch his rump, he, he gets nervous about that. You know, sometimes humans sit in funny places. Sometimes humans are uh, lose, going to lose their balance. And so you just, it's just another thing that we do. Right here he falls. There he is. I want, there he is. I want him to bring that head around to the left and relax. When I drop those reins, I'm just showing you what's going on. I'm exaggerating everything because that's looking really nice. Oh, let's just go forward out of there. All right, got the haunch. We got a soft feel. Got the attention. I'm going to try to get his ear to the right here. Get him looking back to the right. I'll get move over a little bit. Um, so I'm getting his attention, his ear and his eye to come to the right. Ear and eye look to the left. He wants to go by the other side of the ring here. Look to the left. Look to the left. Look towards the... Good. Look to the right. He's tense in the back all of a sudden again. Sorry, guys. I'm not known to... Well, I'm not going to... Yeah, I am going to say it. I'm not known to get... Hor well... I don't want to, I always feel like I'll jinx myself, but I want to keep things calm, so I don't want to show you a excited situation. I kind of got that head coming around. I, I almost said I'm not known to get horses that excited, and then I thought about it, and I thought, you know what? Sometimes I'm on horses that are excited, so I don't want to scare a horse, though. But I will, I will sometimes push a horse if, if it's going to help him get it. Right here, let's get that hindquarters. He's sucking back. Get forward, roll up to the front end, take the haunch around. I'm almost going to walk forward. I want to know that he's off my left leg and thigh, sit, left sit bone, come forward. Let him kind of go. I, don't, I mean, I could go trotting and cantering, but I don't care about that. I, I want to work on what did I get done on the ground. I'm doing the same thing now. This, these are the things that are going to help me get him to, to go forward and arc and to step under in a, in a good way and to get supple and relaxed instead of being t tense. So letting him have, let's let him explore again, and then we'll go back to some more, some more hindquarter work. I like